Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hey, Jose. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. you? I'm good. Thank you. How was your weekend? Um, that's that's well, uh, very very cool. I go. I go out with my friends and play soccer. All right. Cool. In La Palma. Yes. All right. It was rainy, but it don't matter. It's better like that. Yes. L playing soccer under the rain is good. Like when was a, a child. Yeah, that's true. What about you? Um, I don't know. I don't think I did anything on the weekend. Just a normal weekend. I, you know, just supermarket shopping, married stuff. <laughs> All right. Hello, uh, Rodrigo and Claudia Marcela. Are you there? Good evening, teacher. Hello. How are you? How was your weekend? Um, Saturday was very busy for me and because in the morning I practiced, practiced English with uh, partner. You practice what? English with a partner. A partner, oh, yeah. sorry. That's okay. How, how uh, do you, when you practice English, how do you practice? What do you do? Just talk. Uh, the first part is just talk ourselves, and the the other part is, is talking about the grammar or something like that. Uh, uh, different kind of question or something that uh, he wants to know about Spanish. Okay. And. In the Saturday, it was my first time with a group of child. It was very exciting. It was your it first was, time what? With a group of child. Oh, okay. And it was very exciting because I thought that it was uh, just five children, but it the double. It was a double. Why? Why did you have children? Yes, a group of the the church. Oh, okay. Um, I don't do anything special, just go to the church, just that. Oh, okay, good. So you were like in charge of children? Yeah. Uh, I don't know how to say in English, but uh, catechesis, I don't know. Catechesis? Uh -huh, yeah. I really don't know that. <laughs> You got me there. I, I don't know how to say that. Hey, but that's good. All right, nice. All right. Let me see. Hold on. Let me check with that. Okay, hold on, let me check one thing. Hold on, please. <clears throat> All right. Hey, Bordes, how are you? Good. <clears throat> How's your weekend, Boris? Oh, I was working. <laughs> you were working? Yeah, I was working. I... Had to be in my in my job. Oh, okay, and what do you do, Boris? Uh, wh what type of policeman are you? Like, are you on in the street in an office? Are you in a certain place? Well, uh, certainly, I I, I had to uh, handle other people, uh, administrate 
a, a kind of cases that they have uh, with the uh, attorney. Okay. Um, well, uh, we had to investigate, uh, I don't know if the, the, the birdies investigate? Yes. Investigate another cops. Oh, so you, you, you investigate, for example, corrupt cops? Hmm. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Let me see who else. Hello, Rafael Antonio Morales. You're back. Thank you, teacher. How was your weekend? Uh, not bad, but but it's it's okay. Yes. Did you do anything special? Anything different? Uh well, cleaning the house and anything. <laughs> Any cleaning the house or? Normal house, I'm sorry, <clears throat> what that would be what? Um, husband things. Uh, my, 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 my problem is uh, my, my son are, are kids. And it's, 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 it's hard job cleaning, washing clothes. Um, uh, with my wife, uh, sure, but it's it's um so very much things to do it on the weekend. It's terrible. It is. I you know sometimes um sometimes. When you rest is when you work more. Yes. Okay. So let me see here. Let me see. Dun, 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 dun. Hold on, let me check one thing, please. Hold on. Okay, do you see my screen? Yes. 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 Okay, good. So it says, lesson objective, by the end of this section, participants will be able to use present unreal conditions with unless, only mm -hmm. if, and even if. So we're going to understand now the difference between only if and even if. Not yeah, yes, that, that's what we're going to do today. So let's watch the video. Let me see. Let me put your sound. Hi, we're about Can you hear? Yes. 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 yes okay. Right. A bit. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, let me play. play. Hold on. About to talk about present and real conditionals with unless, only if, and even if. Get ready. Present and real conditional with unless, only if, and even if. Unless clauses include exceptions that would change the speaker's decision. I wouldn't tell the bank unless it were a large amount. I would keep it a secret unless my coworker continued lying about it. Only if clauses stress the condition for the result. I would keep it a secret only if I liked my coworker. Even if clauses are followed by unexpected results. Even if I were really broke, I would return the extra money to the bank. The likelihood of an event in the main clause happening is expressed by the conjunctions unless, only if, even if. These conjunctions are used in the conditional clause. If shows the most likelihood. Example, I wouldn't take the money unless I really needed it. Meaning, if I really needed the money, I would take it. Let's take a look to another example. I would take the money only if I really needed it. Meaning, I would take the money only under these particular circumstances. For example, not knowing who had dropped it. And the last example. I wouldn't take the money even if I really needed it, meaning I wouldn't take the money for any reason. Read the following situations. What would you do? You may use unless, even if, only if in your responses. Unless clause. Okay, let, let me go here. Let me see here real quick. Okay, unless clause includes exceptions that would change the speaker's decision. Yes, for example, you can say I would or I wouldn't. I would do something or I wouldn't do something. But there is an exception, only one exception you use unless. Let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. I would, I wouldn't be, no, it's not vegetarian. What is the other one after vegetarian? Vegan. Vegano. Yeah, the vegan. I wouldn't be a vegan unless my life depended on it. What do you understand by my example? In Spanish? No. <laughs> no, in English. In English or French? Uh, sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. For me, that means that uh, you had a, uh, you take that decision if, if it was the last only for that. Thing. Exactly. I will never be a, a vegan. Never. I don't like vegans. I, I don't. I don't like them. I don't like. I respect it, but I don't understand it. And I would never be a vegan unless my life depended on it. So like Bodhi said, unless I have no option. I think it's very difficult to be a vegan, especially in El Salvador. Okay. Mm -hmm. So do you understand unless... <laughs> Can you give another example, please? Sure.
Uh, let me let me think of an easy one. I would. I would. Um. I would never go back with my ex girlfriend. Yes. Now listen to this. I would. This is an example. Okay. I would never go back with my ex girlfriend unless. Unless she wins the lottery and pays me. <laughs> Not even like that. I even meant that even if. So, so um, Jose. In this case, when you say I would do something or I wouldn't do something, it's like you're very positive. You would do or you would not do this, but there's only one exception, and that exception is very extreme. Okay, I got it. Mm -hmm. For example, when I was. When I was younger, I was very stupid. I would go out and drink and drive. You know, I was a, you know, you know, stupid people. Like, I used to go to bars and get very, very drunk and, and go to my house. For many years, I don't know how I am alive because I remember, I remember sometimes I wake up and I say, where's my car? How did I come here? And I call my friends. Hey, what happened? Come here. You drove. Oh, really? Hey, cool. You know, I was very idiot. But now I would never, I would never go to a bar in my car. Drink. I would never drink and drive. Unless I am um, I pay an Uber. And not even with an Uber. I I don't like going out. But but do you understand that the the, the exception? Okay, or unless someone else drive. But unless that other person that is driving is not drinking. Yeah. Okay, good. Jose Saez, give me an example with unless, please. Um. Let me see. Uh. I would like to be a football player unless uh, in my profession pay me more, for example. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Boris? Well, um... Uh... Mm, I would like to uh, change my job unless I uh, earn the double of money that I got. Okay, so you would like to change your job unless you you make more money okay good um Claudia Maria Guerrero would you leave your boyfriend sorry would you leave your boyfriend i am <laughs> i am already <laughs> <laughs> no 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 i'm i'm not saying live leave leave the I Ah, uh, no, I I won't leave my boyfriend unless mm -hmm. he cheats. She he cheats on me. <laughs> exactly, very good example. Did you see that? I wouldn't. I wouldn't leave my boyfriend unless he cheats on me. I think that's the perfect example. So you are very decisive. You know what you want. But there's always one exception, right?
All right, Dennis, give me an example. Okay. Um... Would you, Dennis, would you vote for El Nuegado again? <laughs> I wouldn't vote for El Nuegado again unless he is the last option uh, for a president. So there is a possibility that you would vote for him. <laughs> no, I think that it, that I I said that just for the example, but oh, yeah. no. What you try I, to say is I wouldn't vote for El Nuegado. Even if he was the last president, but I'm gonna eat that even if exactly. <laughs> Teacher, yes, I participate. Yeah, well, I yeah, sleep thank you, with the, I sleep with uh, the window, the open the window, unless it's really cool. Okay, very good, thank you. Yeah, very excellent example. Who lives alone or? No. Okay, I like that example, Suma. I sleep with the windows open unless it's very cool outside. Very good example. Algo salvadoreño, let me see. I wouldn't, oh, okay, this is true. I wouldn't drink chilate unless I have nuegados. Okay, so Next, let's go with only if. Only if is the condition for the result. Which is really is similar to unless. Let's use Claudia's example again. She said, I would never leave my boyfriend unless he cheats on me. Okay, good. Or can you change that to only if? Claudia? Uh, I will leave my boyfriend. I wouldn't. No, I would. My, I would. I would leave you my boyfriend. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because you're giving the condition, no, no, you're giving the condition of the result. So imagine uh -huh. you say, I would leave my boyfriend only if. Only if he cheats, he cheats on me. Exactly. Good. Uh -huh. I would leave my boyfriend only if he cheats uh -huh. on me. So you're giving the result, but the condition. Uh-huh. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, Jose Isaias, would you put on a Barcelona t shirt? I never put a Barcelona t shirt. Why not? O only if you pay a lot of money. <laughs> Very good. That, that's a good example. Yes. Yes, me too. I would wear, um, I would use a Real Madrid t-shirt or Alianza t-shirt only if I lose a bet. Si pierdo una apuesta. Y me ha tocado hacerlo. <laughs> How much you win or you lose? No, I lost. I had to wear an Alianza shirt. How much? Tell me. Um, I think it was a Clásico uh, Aguila Alianza. And I, I like Aguila, so Alianza won. So the bet 
was that I had to wear the next day, the complete day, an Alianza shirt. So it was no money. It was the shirt. Oh, yeah. But I would prefer to pay money than to use the shirt of Alianza or Real Madrid. <laughs> All right. And now we have even if. Even if there's no condition, it's not negotiable. I see the question. Even if it's not negotiable. So, Dennis, let's go to your example. I wouldn't vote for El Nuegado even if he was the last president or the only candidate. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah, so even if he is the last person, uh, I, I'm not going to give the vote for El Nuevo, right? So yes. there is no way. There is no way. I. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not negotiable. Give... Exactly. Okay. When you say unless or or when you say unless or only if, is there is an yeah. exception, a condition, but not even if it's not negotiable. Okay. Let me give you an example. Claudia Marcela. If yeah. you if you want, you can invent, okay? Mm -hmm. But um, I remember you said you are single, right? Yeah. Do you have an ex-boyfriend? Yeah. Would you go back with your ex-boyfriend? Uh, I won't go back I, with my... I wouldn't? I wouldn't. I wouldn't go back with my boyfriend. Why not? Was he bad to you? No, because there are any. I'm sorry. I don't know how to say when attraction. No chemic. It's over. Ah, there are any chemic. There's like no click. Yeah, there's any click. Okay. Yo pensé que me iba a decir porque me engañó, entonces. No. <laughs> okay, so. So there was no, there was no, uh, no more click. Okay. Would you, would you go back with him if he tells you, let's try it again? I I would I wouldn't go back with him even if he uh how to say rogar he begs me begs me okay even if if he begs me can you explain that word please in the chat Sure, hold on, where's me? Hey, oops, wrong chat. Do you see that even if he begs me? Yeah, I see it. So That's the it. sentence is I wouldn't go back to him even if he begs me. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Hey Jose Isaias, what you can invent, okay? <laughs> Please don't get it. What happened with your ex-girlfriend? Uh, well, I, I I don't know how how to say that, but uh, she was like, uh, how do you say interesada? Oh man, wait wait, interesada in what? In money. Money. From you, or from an, uh, or just in general. Uh, 
I think she was a lot of she she was uh she wants a lot of gift and presents okay each month oh yeah so she's a gold digger look at the chat wow, okay oh, okay gold digger. José Isaías, okay. yo entendí perfectamente lo que me quisiste decir cuando dijiste que ella es interesada. Uh -huh. Pero si lo dices en inglés, realmente no es nada ofensivo. Hasta alguien lo puede oír como, hey, that's good, le interesan las cosas. <laughs> you know? So, ¿me entiendes? So, e ella es interesada, es an expression in Spanish. It, is, it, it doesn't about, about uh -huh. word in English. Uh -huh. No. No. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. No, it's not because la gente le puede decir, what? She's interested? So why did you let her go? That's good. She's an interested woman. And you say, no, 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 no. She's interested. Yes, that's good. You know, so. <laughs> or you can be more specific. She's very interested in money. Okay. Oh, oh that's better. different. Yeah, that, that's more different. Okay. Would you go back with her if she tells you she still loves you? I will never back with her. Even if? Even if she told to me I will change or something like that. <laughs> All right, good. Sure. Yes, Boris. I can say uh, well. Um, I might say, even if the house of monster was free, I never get in get in again. Even the house of who? The house of mo of monsters. Uh, in the like uh, in the the party of the towns. Sometimes they put some. A kind of gains of that. Oh no, that's a haunted house. The hunter house, yeah. Even if the hunter house was free, I never, I never I, get in again. I would never get in again. I will never. Okay. Why? <laughs> you got scared? <laughs> yeah, I <I'm> scared. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, that's a good example. Okay. All right. Uh, do you do you guys have any questions right now? No. Let me give you an example, and this is true. One time, I voted for FMLN, and sometimes I I voted for Arena. No, no, I, I never voted for FMLN. I voted for ARENA only. But I would never vote for ARENA again, even if they pay me. So you wouldn't be an interesting person in the United States? <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Yeah, I would. Yes, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't vote for them, even if they were my family. Así, y la razón que les digo eso es porque así está, así está la la situación política en nuestro país. Yes, este este gobierno nuevo, obviamente le quitó los votos a los otros partidos y hoy mucha gente está diciendo eso. Yo no votaría por el frente, ni aunque bla, 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 bla. O yo no votaría otra vez por arena, ni aunque bla, 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 bla. O me imagino que hay unos que están diciendo también, yo no votaría por Bukele otra vez, ni aunque bla, 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 bla. Aunque me imagino que esos son como los familiares de, de los que están en el secot. <ríe> Yeah. Okay, so do you understand that even if? 
Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. Hey, let me give you a perfect example. La Selecta for, of El Salvador will, will, will never go to a World Cup even if they give them the free pass. Do you understand my example? Yes. Yeah. Aunque la FIFA le dieron pase directo al Mundial, ve, ya clasificaron, ya no fue, ni aún así llegarían. Encontraron una forma de clasificarse. They will pretty much. Yes. No, I'm, no, but imagine, like, la FIFA says, you know what, El Salvador? You are qualified. Don't worry. Ya están en el Mundial. Y aún así encontraron una forma de no ir. That's how, that's how la selecta es. Okay, so let's see here. Read the, read the four sentences aloud. Imagine Sam gets an invitation. Which sentences mean that Sam will go? Number one. Sam would go if he was invited. Sam wouldn't go unless he was invited. Sam would go only if he was invited. Or D, Sam wouldn't go even if he was invited. Which do you think is correct? Sam, uh, excuse me, sorry. Uh, Sam Golden go unless he was invited. Okay, look, look what uh, it says here. It says, read the four sentences. Imagine Sam gets an invitation. Which sentences mean that Sam will go? Okay, see by it, but which are the conditions? Sam would go if he was invited? Correct? Yes. Yeah. Sam wouldn't go unless he was invited? Yes. Yes. Sam would go only if he was invited. So it's yes. A, B, and C. Yes. Which sentences means which sentence means that Sam won't go? Sam would go if he was invited. Sam wouldn't go unless he was invited. Sam would go only if he was invited. Sam wouldn't go even if he was invited. Letter D. Of course, letter D, right? So remember what I told you, it's not negotiable. Let's listen to the exercise. Finders keepers. Listen to Aaron and Leanne talking about finding something. Are these statements true or false, or does the person not say? Check the correct answer. 1. Aaron I was with my son at the supermarket. He was about eight years old at the time, and he found a wallet on the floor. Inside it was a hundred-dollar bill. A hundred dollars! He picked it up and got all excited. In fact, neither of us could really believe it. He started talking about all the things he would buy. Right away, I told him that we couldn't keep it. He seemed disappointed at first. We started asking people if they had lost anything. After asking around for a while, we hadn't found anyone, and I was beginning to think we'd asked everyone. But then, as we were walking to the front of the store, I noticed a man actually my son noticed him, pacing back and forth, shaking his head and muttering something. I thought it was probably his wallet, so we asked him, and it was. My son felt better when he saw how relieved the man was about getting his money back. That was our good deed for the day, and the man gave my son ten dollars as a reward for returning the wallet. 2. Leanne I was on a train from Washington to New York last month when I found a book lying under my seat. It was so strange. It was just a little book, not an expensive one. It was probably only worth a few dollars. Well, I really wanted to read it, 
It was pretty interesting, and by the end of the trip, I was still reading it, so I decided to keep it. I took it home and finished it. Now, every time I see it on my bookshelf, I wonder if I should have taken it or not. I mean, do you think I should have returned it to the train conductor? Who knows? Like I said, it wasn't a very expensive book, so I didn't really feel guilty about taking it. Okay, so the first story, what do you think Arison wa Aaron's son wanted to keep the wallet and spend the money? True. He did? True. True. Yeah, he did. Really? Finders Keepers. Listen to Aaron and Leanne talk. And he found a wallet on the floor. Inside it was a hundred dollar bill. A hundred dollars. He picked it up and got all excited. In fact, neither of us could really believe it. He started talking about all the things he would buy. Okay. Uh, right away, I told him that we couldn't keep it. Okay, yeah. It's true. <laughs> That's my son. Okay, Aaron's son received a thank you card as a reward. Thanks. Falls. What did he receive? Ten dollars. Hmm. Ten dollars. He received ten dollars. Thank you, Jose Francisco. The owner of the book probably didn't care much about it. Do you think? The, in the second story, did the owner of the book care about the book? No care. It really doesn't say. Okay. At the, at the, at the, at the end of the, the, the story, he she said that maybe she felt guilty. Yes, because she never knew if, if it was right or not, but she, she never said about the owner of the book. So okay. let's say Leon, Leanne will probably return the book. True. Yeah, you know, I mean, it doesn't say, but it can be true too. Let's see. Okay, true. No, <laughs> false. Really? False? <laughs> I would imagine false is the last answer. Mm. Uh, you see, that's what I told you about the platform. <laughs> like here, there's two possible answers, true or it doesn't say. Okay, here now we're going to talk about ethics. Hi, are you ready to learn new words? Notice how they change their meaning with some prefixes. Listen to the following words, then listen again and notice how they change in meaning when using a prefix. You may make a chart in your notebook and copy the new word. Acceptable, agreeable, approving, ethical, fair, honest, Legal, logical, rational, responsible, scrupulous, trustworthy. Unacceptable, disagreeable, disapproving, unethical, unfair. Dishonest, illegal, illogical, irrational, irresponsible, unscrupulous, untrustworthy. Use the vocabulary words to answer these questions. Number one, would you ever make an international call from your work to save money? Number two, would you ever play a practical joke on your dishonest?
Okay. Um, let's 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 use an acceptable. Acceptable. It's even is similar in Spanish, right? I think it's the same word in Spanish. Correct. Here's an example. Hey class, I am selling I am selling my old TV. And usually when you sell something used, people ask you for the condition. And you can say it's an acceptable condition. So if I tell you it's an acceptable condition, what do you understand? That should be working. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not in. It's not. It's, it doesn't look new, but it works. You see this a lot in cars. When gringo usan bastante para vender algo, acceptable they use for everything. The price is acceptable. Oh, I went, I paid an Uber from San Salvador to, oh, like for example, imagine, hey class, do you think an Uber from San Salvador to El Tunco, do you think $20 is good? Do you think $20 is acceptable? No. Unacceptable. Unacceptable. Really? I think it's acceptable $20 to Uber to El Tunco. Okay. What do you think is an acceptable price? $12. $12. Wait, let me check. You know, I, I, I never even... <laughs> let me put let me see how much Uber will charge me from my house to El Tunco. Twelve dollars. Wow, maybe I even an Uber. Let me see. So if I if I go El Sonte, we open El Sonte. Let me see how much. Ah, fifteen dollars. If if I right now, right now from my house to El Tunco is fifteen dollars. For me from Santa Tecla to El Sonte, nineteen. Really? Really? Yeah. And I live and, and I live I live farther than you because I live by El Paso de Aguar. But you put El Sonte or El Tunco? No, I put El Tunco, El Tunco Beach. Ah, let me check. $12. Wow, oh, okay. So, oh, okay. But at night, so I think $20 yeah. in the day is acceptable, no? It's acceptable. Well, it's acceptable. I mean, acceptable is not saying, hey, that's cheap, that's perfect, that's good. It's acceptable. So it's not bad. It's not good. It's acceptable. All right. Um, you understand agreeable? No. Agreeable comes with I agree. I agree with you. Teacher, but that work is not common, right? I mean, uh, for me, it's the first time that I that I hear that word. And also, how do you translate agreeable? Uh -huh. Okay, let me give you let me give you an example. Okay, yes, like uh, 
what Dennis said really is not a very it's not very common. But imagine we're going to have a debate, un debate. But in the debate, eventually Dennis and I we agreed on everything. Estuvimos de acuerdo pretty much in everything. So when the debate is over, we can say, hey, that debate was very agreeable. So it's 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 not very common. Porque la palabra agree is realmente es lo contrario. I don't agree. <laughs> es más común oír I disagree. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. But that is not a tra a translation or a specific word in Spanish, right? I, I I no, I don't think in Spanish. Uh -huh. For example, like I imagine in politics, if you're going to be in one same team, you everybody has to be in the same ship. Agreeable. So I um everybody has to have the same principles, the same the same way of thinking. Sí, no, no creo que exista en español agreeable. Es concuerdo. Existe la palabra concuerdo. Yes. Me la puede decir en una oración, por favor. Um... Yo concuerdo con su tipo de música. <laughs> no concuerdo. Concuerdo. Oh, okay, concuerdo. Do you see my screen right now? Yes. Yes, sir. Here's a good example. Look, willing to agree to something. So, for example, uh, Claudia Maria, you are living with your boyfriend, right? Yes. So your your family likes your boyfriend and his family, they like you, correct? Correct. So if someday you get married, uh, they would be agreeable to your decision, correct? Correct. That is correct. Okay, good. In those circumstances, you can use agreeable. Okay. They're all on the same ship. Next, we have approving. Approving is something um, positive. Let me, I am sorry, but let me give you an example. Uh, Bukele siempre, he's getting approving results, always, in, in, in encuestas. Right? Maybe, maybe, maybe people can say, no, but okay, okay, yeah, whatever. But in the results, they are always approving. So approving is something positive. Um, I think, I think um, the president of El Salvador, the president of Mexico and Costa Rica, I think. Well, I don't know, but they, they are always getting approving record. I mean, results. Ethical, fair, fair is similar to acceptable. Fair is justo. Honest, legal, logical, rational, responsible, scrup scrupulous, Trustworthy. Teacher, what is the yes. difference uh, or when are we going to use uh, 
accountable and responsible. Where is accountable? No, no, oh. I mean, yeah, I, I'm just trying to 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 make sure what is the difference between okay. those. Accountable, oh. accountable is is more for um. Accountable and uh, responsible is the same thing, but accountable yeah. is is something more for like legal for your work or for your. Uh, for your responsibilities, responsible you can be a little kid and be responsible. So, for example, hey Dennis, here is the company car. Imagine your company gives you a car, mm -hmm. but they tell you, Dennis, but this car is only for working hours. If you have an accident on this car on a Sunday, you're accountable for it. Do you accept that responsibility? Okay. Do you understand? So accountable and responsible is the same thing. But accountable is more for your responsibilities in your job, in your school, in your personal life. So if, for example, if I if I do have an, an interview for a job, it's better to use accountable instead of responsible. For example, if I say or, or they tell me uh, what what are your 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 skills or what do you offer to the to the company if i say i'm not an accountable person or it doesn't matter if i say no, you, you can say that i'm an accountable person yes it's better, just, right yes okay okay mm -hmm. so when you say accountable is when you're giving somebody a responsibility even for a little kid if, if you buy your your daughter or your son a dog you tell your son or your dog hey if this dog poops, you're accountable for it. <laughs> okay. And that person has to accept, okay, yes or no. Great. Hey, but hold on. Let me, let me, now that you mentioned that, before we finish, let me send you something. T-shirt. Yes, sir. I remember one uh, phrase of the spider movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, a big power had a big responsible. No, it says with with power comes great responsibility. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Hold on. Do you see your, your WhatsApp right now? Okay, I'm opening it. Hold on, I'm going to send you something, but let me look for it first. Okay. Yeah, okay. It's open. Hold on, class. These are, these are the best answers to give in a job interview. Porque, ¿saben qué es el problema cuando alguien va a una entrevista de trabajo? Que piensan de que ustedes son los primeros en, en decir lo que ellos ya han oído miles de veces. Por ejemplo, when they ask you, tell me something good about yourself. ¿Cuál es su, su peor defecto? Que soy perfeccionista. <laughs> you know, like, oh man, they million, maybe everybody, everybody will say that. Let me see, hold on. I keep out I don't know if you received it. 
Yes, sir. Those are uh, picture, right? Why do you yes. want to work with our company? Oh, that's good. This are it tells you what to say and what not to say. Nice. Or are you looking for job change? Did you, did, did, did you see a class? Yes. Thanks. Yeah, this is cool. Let me check one, one more thing. Or let me find it. Ahí le va a caer un libro que se llama Macmillan English Grammar. Se está, se está completando ahorita. This is an extremely very, very, very good book. It has all the grammar that you need. So when you want to practice grammar, hold on a me. Let's see. Está cargando porque es 31 megabytes. Tell me when you when you receive it. No yet. Okay. I have it. You got it? Open it? Yes, sir. Mm. It's a large book, right? Yeah. But for me, it's like a Bible <laughs> nice. of grammar. It's a very, very good book. This is what I do when I when I teach personal classes. Um, but aquí está, mire, eh, creo que la donde dice contents. Um. Page number five. Present perfect simple. Simple past, past continuous, used to do. I use that all grammar that you need to know. Look. Look how beautiful that book is. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. That would be $40, please. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, no. So look, like, for example, oh, man, I'm having problems with present simple, present continuous, past continuous. Vaya, por ejemplo, look, present simple. Página número uno. Here, hold on. Let me, let me do one thing. Let me share with you. Do you see my, my, my page? Yes. Yeah. So like, for example, look, page number one. It's present simple or simple present? So, look, remember I told you kiss simple present is a fact or things that always happen? Remember that I told you I go kiss simple present. It's a routine. It's a habit. You see? You keep standing on ejemplos. Romeo and Juliet. Look, everything is simple present. And then you go to present continuous. And then you go to past simple. Yo lo que les recomendara, si pueden o quieren, yo lo en primera. 
si, si aún son vieja escuela y le gusta leer de, le gusta leer en físico it's it's actually for me is more than than to be old school or not it, it for me it's better because if i sit down in front of the computer yes mm -hmm. when i get distracted exactly and so, and yeah. if if you have it like that you can you know you can you can take notes like hey this is interesting chum, 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 chum. yeah for me what works better in that way i can focus on on what mm -hmm. i'm doing yeah it's nice i'm gonna i'm gonna do it yeah It's a very good book. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, class. I will see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. okay. Good night. Okay. Good night. Yo no, yo, yo no le di esto, conste. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's, it's our secret, okay? Okay. Okay. Bye, class. Thank bye. you. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay.